Hey, friends and family, and all my artsy fartsy people on YouTube. You guys, please forgive me. I've been gone for a couple of months, and I'm going to give you an explanation as to why. In June, my esophagus collapsed, and I had to have kind of like emergency surgery. So I had surgery uh, July the 1st, and uh, I was in the hospital uh, a good, almost a, a little over a month. And so I want to share with you... Um, the coloring pages that I did color while I was in the hospital. You guys, after surgery, I came home for two days. I had very bad complications and I went back into the hospital. So I just carried these books with me right here. And this is what I worked on. Some pages are probably unfinished, but I still want to share with you my um, recreation time while I was laid up in the hospital. So this is the first book. I know I did not complete this page. And also, let me say this before I proceed. If you guys wish to follow my journey, because I am struggling with this surgery, the way they had to fix my esophagus was real kind of unorthodox, but I had to do like a revision surgery. But if you want to follow my path, you can um, see everything on my other YouTube channel, Purple Penny Pincher. And I am unscripted and I tell the whole story. So let me show you guys what I did while I was laid up. This is the first book. Um, I've been having this book for a long time and um, I like whimsical stuff if you guys don't know. So I started on this page and then um, mind you, I was on a lot of pain medication. So some of these pages, I was depending on my mood, I was just in and out and just doing whatever. So I started on this page I didn't get to finish. Um, I stopped on the the mat. I wanted the mat to look like the old school, uh, the game we used to play on the floor. I don't know if I could say the name of it or not, but y'all remember this mat with the different colors on it. So that was my goal. And then I just need to finish this and that. And that's the only page I've colored in this book so far. Um, this is one of my doodling books. Okay, next, I'm still um, trying to finish this book here, but I'm going to show you only what I worked on in the hospital. I've already marked my pages. I'm trying to uh, go ahead and finish this book as soon as I can. This was the first page. Now, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this is the only completed page that I did do while I was in the hospital. Uh, it took me, I think, an hour and a half to do this page. The only part I used the marker on was the blue background right here. Everything else is colored in. And I think I used my color pencils for this. Okay, moving on to the next page. which is this one. I started on this one. I did not finish. I remember I was having real icky, yucky feelings this day, really bad pains, and so I just stopped. I stopped when I got to the little man. Um, I just couldn't muster up the strength to finish this page, but now that I'm home, I'm sure I'll finish eventually. Next page is this one. I just started on the background. Once again, the sky is the only thing marker that I use. These are uh, done with the color pencils. And I will finish that eventually. Hopefully before fall kicks in and that's in a minute. And this one, I also did this page here. And I just need to complete my gnome and finish my um, groundwork right here. Okay, so let's move on to the next page, you guys. I mean, the next book, you guys, which is this one. I think I only worked on this one page right here, which you see is not completed. But I, I did, I was trying to uh, work on my wood grains here. That's That was my specialty on this page is the wood grains. I wanted them to be just a slightly different. I didn't want them to be the same. But this is an easy finish. I will finish this page uh, really soon. And I think, yeah, that's the only page I worked on in this book right here is 
this page right here while I was in the hospital. Moving on to the next book. It's A Circle of Life. I worked on a lot of pages in this book while I was in the hospital. I was really trying to finish my double spread page, but it was uh, real tedious. I kept, my hands kept getting real weak um, when I was trying to do my mountains, but I will go back and finish this page. Once again, I will do it, you guys. My artsy fartsy people, you know how it is when you get tired, you just kind of put your pen down. Now this one I did finish. I completed this. Um, I wrote right here in the corner, medical city surgery. So I completed this page um, right after surgery. I was determined to uh, direct my all my pain into this, the pain I was feeling, my surgery pain, uh, surgical pain. I was directing my pain into my pain, my art on this page right here. So I was very determined to finish this page and I did. I can't say that for the other pages coming up, but this was this page right here will always remind me of how much pain I was in. Okay, next was this one. Not completed, but this is what I was working on when I was getting prepped for surgery. That's me waiting on the anesthesiologist. Meaning I was waiting for the anesthesiologist to come and inoculate me <laughs> with the knockout juice. This is the page I diligently was coloring. And I will go back and finish. All I have to do is finish these flowers and put a little tint on my background. I'll be done with this page. Next, this is another page. Uh, I was listening, uh, I wrote right here in, in the, um, my little notes, I was listening to big band music. You remember like Lawrence Welk or the ragtime music uh, eras. I was listening to big band music and I was uh, working on this page. I was inspired by the music of the past and I did not get to finish this page. As you can see, I need to complete the middle and I need to color in these little berries around here. But I'm proud of myself for getting done this much done while I was in the hospital. I was still in pain on this picture too. Moving right along, you guys. My artsy fartsy people. I did get to finish my dream catcher. And I did get to stain my background. I'm proud of myself for finishing this page. It was this was an easy color. And I have one more in this book, which is my peacock. I did finish this one, you guys. Okay, let's move on to the next book. Bye, Mr. Peacock. <laughs> this is the last book that I took to the hospital with me. And as you can see, I worked on quite a few pages here. Let me go ahead and show them to you, my artsy parts of people. This is uh, one that I finished while I was at the hospital. Uh, I think I was uh, pre-op right here. I was also pre-op right here. I need to finish this little book part with the waterfalls coming out right here. That's going to be an easy color. And I'm going to get these birds out of the way, you guys. I'll come back and show when I really complete it with this entire book. I'll come and show my artsy parts of people. I started on this page... Um, the day that I walked out of the hospital, that's a whole nother story. You can see it on my other channel. But yeah, I eventually, you know, I I, th I think I checked myself out. I'm not sure, but I did let my doctor know. I said, I'm done with this. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I'm getting depressed. But this is the um, picture I was working on the day that I decided this is enough. I've had enough. I'm getting ready to go home. So this is that page. And I will finish this. Next, this one I started, didn't finish. I couldn't decide uh, what color I wanted the background. It has a lot of circles and swoops in it, which means to me that the background could be kind of a, a cool, cool color. 
I haven't made up my mind, so I just stopped working on this. And you can see it's a postage stamp as well, so I want it to be real pretty. So uh, I'll pick this up pr probably way later down the line when I get my color scheme together. This one, I worked on my globe. I was working on this. It took me, uh, I'll say about three hours just to finish this part right here. I got uh, very tired uh, of sitting in that bed. Uh, my back was hurting. That's why I didn't finish this one on purpose. I just needed to lay down, you guys. So that's why I didn't finish this one. But I will finish. As you see, I'm almost done. Last page, but not least, I stutter on my three candles. And I knew I wanted them to be red, gold, and green. The colors of the freedom flag, red, gold, and green. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to finish this one as well. But I did want to share with you what I did do while I was in the hospital. And uh, I already ran through these pages. I didn't do anything else but what I just showed you. My RC Parsi people. Uh, I will get back to uploading more videos. You guys, just give me a chance to snatch my life back together. Uh, I have some coloring collabs that I had started doing. I'm going to finish my coloring collabs in different coloring groups. Um, I'm trying to get all of that together now. I'm just trying to pull my life back together. And I have to start school on September the 3rd. It's when I go back to work. In case you didn't know, I am a substitute teacher. So I will be going back to the kiddos on September 3rd. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourself and spread some love in this evil world. You guys, I've got to go. I will see you or talk to you in my next video. And thank you for following. Thank you to my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys for helping me grow organically. Thank you so much for your support and for your participation. You guys, I gotta go. Bye-bye.